So now we have the cost, volume, and break-even point relationship. So pag-aaralan naman natin yung uh, relationship nilang tatlo. Ano? So ano nga ba si break-even point? So pag sinabi natin break-even, di ba, uh, yung total na ginastas natin is equal lang sa uh, total income natin. So we have here the figure, ano? Again, we have the demand as the x-axis and then sa y-axis natin is si cost and revenue. So, yung, ito yung horizontal line natin dito, siya si si sub, sub F. So, siya si fixed cost. So, sa isang uh, yunyari, manufacturing company, di ba? Sabi natin, uh, kapag magpuproduce tayo ng mga product, ano, meron na tayong tinatawag na fixed cost. So, ito yung mga initial na uh, kung baga ito yung mga capital investment pagbili ng equipment and so on. So, ano naman si city dito? So, siya naman si total cost. Paano na makukuha si total cost? Yung galing dito kay CF, yung additional cost niya dito, yung increment, additional Y natin dito, is, this is the CV or the variable cost. So, di ba sabi naman natin, magkaiba si fixed cost kay variable cost. Si variable cost is dun papasok yung mga uh, expenses natin for the raw materials. Kasi nagdidi, uh, nagbabago si, si cost natin, si variable cost, depende kung ilan yung number of output natin. So, yun. Ito si total cost. So, andito naman si total revenue natin. Itong parabola, di ba? Ito yung kanina natin pinag-aralan. Diniska. So, uh, mapapansin natin na ito yung shaded portion. Anong mangyayari dyan? Meaning, dyan sa dito, simula dito, hanggang dito, sa range na yan, magkakaroon ka ng profit. Kasi mas mataas, di ba, si revenue kesa kay total cost. So, yung why dito, this is our profit. So, profit. So, ano naman tong mga inter intersection ng uh, nung slanting line natin, tsaka ni parabola. So, this is the break-even points. Ano? Si break-even point 1 and 2. So, mamaya, uh, I will show you how to compute for that. Ano? So, now, ito na si profit. Ano? Si difference ni total revenue kay total cost. So, so, uh, diba sabi natin, si maximum total revenue is located dun sa vertex ng parabola natin. So, located siya sa vertex ng parabola. Ano? Andito si D hat. So, tingin nyo ba, um, yung maximum profit natin is nagko-coincide dito sa maximum total revenue natin. So, dito din ba nakalocate yung uh, value ng demand na mag-recreate ng maximum profit? So, hindi. Ano? So, somewhere dito sa left side, yung pinaka malaking increment sa y ano so let us say ito yung uh, d asterisk natin ito yung value ng demand wherein mamamaximize natin si profit so meron din tayong ma-develop ma-derive na formula to get the maximum profit so in other terms tinatawag siyang optimal value So, sige, itry na natin, i-introduce ko sa inyo yung formula. So, sabi natin, si profit ay equal sa total revenue minus the total cost, si CT natin. So, ba diba ang equation ng total revenue natin kanina is AD minus BD squared. So, minus... Uh, si total cost naman, di ba, composed siya ni 
fixed cost plus the variable cost. So, substitute natin dito. So, yan. AD minus BD squared minus CF. So, halimbawa, di ba ito yung total variable cost natin? Halimbawa, may given kang, halimbawa, may given ka kasing small CV. This is the variable cost per unit. So, ano yung magiging total variable cost mo? Imumultiply natin sa number of demand. So, in terms din natin si variable cost kay demand. Ano? So, this will be equal to small, small letter C times B times the demand. So, therefore, ito na yung equation natin to get our profit. Ano? Kung ilan yung magiging profit natin. So, how are we going to get the value of the D asterisk? So, apply lang ulit natin si derivative. Ano? Kasi, di ba, kukunin natin si maximum profit. Yung uh, value ng demand that will have the maximum profit. Ano? Or the optimal value. So, now we differentiate the profit in terms ng demand. So, isa-isahin natin. The derivative of AD is A minus the derivative of BD squared is 2BD minus. Ano bang derivative ni CF? Since siya ay constant, therefore 0. And then, si CV naman. That is equal to CV. Ano CV? The derivative of CV times D is CV. So, now, we will equate this to 0. So, paano na natin makuha si D asterisk? So, equate lang natin. Ano? Transpose, transpose. So, 2BD is equal to A minus CV. So, itira lang natin si D sa kabila. So, we have A minus CV all over 2B. So, ito na si optimal value natin for the demand. So, how about naman si uh, break-even points natin? So, how are we going to get the value for D prime 1 and the D prime 2? So, ang gagawin lang natin, di ba, pag break-even point, equal si total revenue kay total cost. So, ano mangyayari? Uh, erasing ko na ito, ah. And then, gamitin na natin itong equation dito. So, equal na sila. Equal. So, palitan ko na din si C, big letter C, sub V na C sub V D. So, now, transpose lang natin sa kabila lahat. Minus C, F, minus C, V, D equals 0. So, we have a quadratic formula. Ano? Negative B, D squared. Tapos, pagsamahin natin yung may, parehong may D. So, A minus C sub B times D minus C sub F is equal to 0. So, now, paano natin makuha yung value ng D natin using the quadratic formula. Diba sa quadratic formula natin na ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, to get the value of x, we have the negative b plus minus squared of b squared minus 4ac all over 2, 8. So, ano ba yung a natin dito? Si negative b. Si b is equal to a minus cv. And then, si cf na ay si c natin is equal to negative cf. So, we have d is equal to negative a minus cv plus minus yung b squared is a minus cv squared minus 4a is negative b 
x times c negative c f negative c f yun ha and then 2 over negative b so paano, makuku paano tayo makakuha ng dalawang value ng uh, d d so for d prime 1 we have the plus di ba kapag plus, yung plus for d1 yun and then ang gamitin nyo naman for d prime 2 siya naman yung value na ang gagamitin niya is negative. So, ayun na. Yun na yung break-even points. So, next we will have an example. Sample problem.